Hi, I'm Cédric Le Gentil, and I will present you our latest work on IMU pre-integration, leveraging a novel continuous integration method over the rotation group SO3. Given some knowledge about the system's pose and velocity at time t1, one can use standard integration of inertial data provided by an IMU to predict the system's state at time t2. Unfortunately, in the context of optimization-based state estimation, the estimate of the system's pose at time t1 is not accurately known and changes throughout the successive iteration of the optimization process. As the acceleration information provided by an IMU is affected by the Earth's gravity, standard integration depends on the initial orientation at time t1. It implies the recomputation of the integrals at every step of the optimization process. Pre-integration is a concept introduced in 2009 by Lupton and Sukari that correspond to the combination of the IMU measurements into pseudo-measurements noted delta R, delta V, and delta P. The pre-integrated measurements are independent from the initial conditions and therefore allow for efficient optimization-based state estimation of inertial-aided navigation system. Our proposed method introduces a fully continuous formulation of the pre-integrated measurements that does not rely on any explicit motion model. The use of inertial data for state estimation relies on a set of differential equations, as shown here. Given an explicit expression of the acceleration in the global frame, equation 2 and 3 can easily be solved analytically. However, it is not the case for equation 1, as there is no general known analytical solution at the time of writing. In the literature, this equation is generally solved numerically based on the assumption of constant angular velocity between IMU measurements. This type of assumption can lead to poor accuracy as shown in this simple toy example where the constant velocity model is used. We propose a novel optimization-based continuous integration method over SO3 using Gaussian processes to model the system's dynamics. Gaussian process regression is a non-parametric probabilistic interpolation method. Using Gaussian processes and linear operators allows for model-free accurate integration as shown on the right. A comprehensive explanation of the required background and the full derivation of the approach can be found in the paper. But in short, Gaussian process regression can be seen as the combination of inducing values rho, also called training values, as shown in equation 4. Thanks to the application of linear operator to Gaussian processes, the integral of R dot can analytically be inferred from the same inducing values. The main idea of the proposed method is to estimate the inducing values of the Gaussian processes according to equation 6 that links the minimum representation R of the orientation and the instantaneous angular velocity measurements from the IMU. In this diagram, we show how this method is used to generate pre-integrated measurements from IMU data. We first perform the integration of the angular velocity to obtain the system's orientation that we use to reproject accelerometer data in a single referential frame. From there, we model the acceleration signals with Gaussian processes to perform analytical single and double integration to obtain the velocity and position components of the pre-integrated measurements. We call this novel pre-integrated measurements UGPM for Unified Gaussian Pre-Integrated Measurements. In real-world scenarios, IMU data are subject to biases that are generally unknown at the time of pre-integration. This work includes thorough derivation of post-integration bias and time shift correction based on the first-order Taylor expansion. This makes possible the estimation of the IMU biases and the intersensor time shift when the UGPMs are used in a multimodal estimation framework. Our paper contains extensive experiments and comparison against current state-of-the-art pre-integration methods. In this slide, we have an extract of the accuracy experiment for integration windows of 0.5 and 1 second. One can see that our novel method outperforms the current state-of-the-art by around four-folds, and the standard pre-integration by more than an order of magnitude. While the use of Gaussian processes allows for accurate data-driven modeling of the system's dynamics, they suffer from cubic computational complexity. In this work, we introduce a per chunk computation mechanism that alleviates this limitation and allows for real-time computation of the UGPMs regardless of the size of the integration window. Our paper contains timing tables comparing the computation time of several pre-integration methods. We demonstrated the soundness of the post-integration bias and time shift correction both in simulation and in a real-world experiment. This last has been performed using a LiDAR inertial localization and mapping framework called Intulama. The data has been collected with a sensor suit that does not possess any temporal synchronization mechanism, but the method still results into a consistent map and trajectory estimate. We presented a novel continuous integration method for angular velocities as part of an IMU pre-integration technique. We demonstrated that our method significantly outperforms the current state of the art and runs real time. Our code is available on our GitHub. I would like to thank you for watching this presentation and I will welcome any question you may have.